Penny. But um, the international f fans, you know, it's it's like two audiences. It's the local audience and it's the international audience. <laughs> No, it's not two audience. It's not two audiences anymore. You know, this is the age of YouTube. So it's your your local is instantly global. So that that notion of a local audience and a global audience no longer obtains. Sting is up on YouTube within minutes of the show taking place, and even within Jamaica, there's a local audience that is contesting what the DJs are doing. So that notion that the international audience is more um, demanding and is less receptive to the lyrics and that the local audience is completely accepting of the lyrics. It's not true, that is a false divide. Now you're absolutely right that there are certain recurring themes in dancehall lyrics. Um, in the same way that you have conventions in other traditions, the romance of the rose, for example, you know. Um, you have these songs, these themes that recur. Gun lyrics, Batman lyrics, Punani lyrics, and so on. These are recurring themes. The fact that you have these recurring themes does not mean that there are not spaces in the culture where people are critiquing these themes. Look at Tanya's lyric, Tanya Stevens' song, Do You Still Care? We, we don't have as much music like Tanya's, but it is there. So what I'm saying is, yes, in the local scene, you do have these songs that people respond to. And in many cases, when a DJ may be performing badly and you want to get a forward, not a forward, from the audience, <laughs> you might draw a Batman tune, you might draw a gun tune or so. That these are, these are part of the repertoire that has been developed. This does not mean that new tropes and new themes will not emerge. So what you're saying is, yes, we've had a history of these songs. But nobody can deny that. But it doesn't mean that um, there is no possibility for change. And it doesn't mean that new voices are not emerging. In fact, what I said in our radio program last night, and what we need now is a homosexual DJ to come out to start singing fire upon the people then who don't defend but man. You know, in other words, that will happen. With it, it, trust me, the, I went to a Stone Love um, anniversary show and I heard a um, man on the mic. <laughs> I said to him, I said, what is that? It was a dumb DJ. <laughs> Only in Jamaica you could have a dumb person who feels sufficiently confident to DJ. Now, you would have thought that you would, need it, you would need to be able to speak. When I discovered that the man was dumb, I just said, forward my you, big respect. Because being dumb was no deterrent, you see. And, and I use this to suggest that more and more spaces are going to open up in Jamaican culture for voices to come center stage. It is a process, it is a process.